Oh, I guess actually, if any of you guys are hanging out in chat, well, any of you guys, many of you guys are hanging out in chat. What do you guys want to see? Should I go for like, uh... I mean, we did the uh, 4th of July gun, plus plus. I could try, you know what, let's, let's go for, um, let's go for high cost again. I haven't really used the heavy blasters, period. Now, I'm gonna have to do a new scan. First scan, zero. Okay, so you can't fly with one chain gun. You might be able to fly with two. Let's see, super fast firing. Okay, we could we could try super fast. Is there a multi-shot thing? Unfortunately, no. There is something that increases spread. So let's mess with those. Finish crafting. Okay, uh, toggle remove mode. This is an aesthetically pleasing gun, but it does very little for me. Okay. Barrels. Oops. Let's just do double chain gun for the moment. With, uh, with a rico ricochet mod. Nothing fancy, but I don't need fancy. So yeah, we could, we could try, uh, super speed chain gun mode. That could, that could work. I noticed the, the hit indicators aren't as substantial in this game. It's a little harder to tell when you've gotten hit from a direction. I guess it's kind of fine though. That got a little, little bright. Like, maybe there's, there's less feedback on when I get hit by, by enemies in this game. But I'm okay with that. Somebody was complaining about how hard it is to see the enemies, but like, I'm gonna be totally honest with you, uh, the enemies don't move fast enough to really make that big of a difference. And they're pretty obvious once you, like, if you stop firing for a moment, it's pretty easy to spot where they are. Let's see, is there a revolving cylinder that you could have spinning miniguns on? Oh, dude, if there was, like, animation and transforming for weapons, oh, that'd be a thing of beauty. Okay, so I got five. Okay. Four. Uh, let's see. Two. Unfortunately, the address changes every single time. Okay, it's one of these. There it is. Lock that one in. Turn that one off. I'm not even sure what that does. A revolving revolver. Revolving... <laughs> Revolving, revolver, revolver, revolving, revolver, revolvers. Yeah, that would be amazing. I really wish you could buy multiple of these if you had the money. That was one thing that kind of irked me. I was like, no, I just want to buy more connectors so I can build, like, this ridiculous stupid gun. But that's okay. Alright. So let's see. Grab a little bit more. Nope, that's the extent of it. Okay, so... You can't quite fly with this, but that's fine. Okay, uh, let's see, so let's... Go to attach mode. Connectors, I can only get one of these. Well, I'm not too much in the habit of carrying. Now, I didn't do much with heavy blasters, but I only have one so far. So I guess let's just do chain guns for now. I mean, they're certainly the most fun to use. Okay. Um, there is... Huh. You know, I'm going to have to try the full clip soda. Okay, well, we want the portable generator, because that thing's ridiculous. And we want... Yeah, let's, let's grab that. And let's do bullet bounce for now. You know what? No. I can... I can fit a bit more onto this.
going to remove that. Because, yeah, I, I would actually prefer to see things this time around. We also have this. I can maybe put it over here. I don't entirely know what's going to go on that yet. Okay, so caps. We want the... We want loot, or not loot, uh, we want energy, we want the soda, and we want blazing repeater. And I guess I don't have anything to go on this yet. I guess I could, I could attach this for the sake of pink. Sure, finish crafting. That's uh, still a little bit big. Let's fill this room with love. Hello! I wonder if it's gonna be harder or easier. Because I'm, I'm noticing I'm breezing through this. But then again, I kind of breezed through Tower of Guns when I was playing it, uh. Uh, when I was playing it, like, originally. I'm, I'm curious how the difficulty scaling is going to be. Bring back the Hugbots. Oh, dude, bring back the Hugbots. Why aren't there Hugbots? There should be a Hugbot here to greet me. A little disappointed that there isn't one. The other thing, uh, I, to go back to a previous topic about seeing enemies, it's a lot easier to see them, by the way, when they have uh, big ol' health bars. Uh, that you can just be like, oh yeah, there they are, right there. Where, where are the Hugbots? I feel like I... I'm gonna be sad if there's no Hugbot. If there's no Hugbot, I'm going to I'm going to see if I can mod one in myself, just rip the model out of Tower of Guns and just be like, no. No, I'm going to reskin. I'm going to reskin the um the like saw blade floater dudes to make them look like uh Hugbots. Actually, al alternatively, we could go with the fan cannon of um uh we are the Hugbot this time around. That could work. Okay, remove mode. I really wish you could actually like pull off groups and stuff. So, toggle attach mode. Let's see. Not actually sure if this is a good idea, but whatever. Okay. Yeah, let's keep going chain gun for a little while longer until I get some more guns to work with. You know, actually, I'm gonna remove this. That was not efficient placement. Let's see, toggle attach mode. I can't wait until we get some better attachments as part of this, too. Reskin the puppers. Oh, dude, that'd be even better. You're right. I didn't even think about that, but yeah, the, the puppers would be a, a great ex great thing to reskin. Okay, uh, let's see. Nope, nope. Uh, so we want portable energy generator. Can I get two of them? I kinda, awkwardly. Okay, I, I don't care for the jet engine modules. They're a bit big and they they work best with a, a different kind of loadout. Okay, so that, that'll fit. Now do we want fire rate? Sure, why not? Oh right, I still have two two uh two ricochet things going on. Make a gun uh that covers the entire screen but leave open a people. There aren't enough connectors in the game yet. Um that's that's like very high on the list of things that I wanna uh I wanna make when the actual full version comes out, but they need to add more parts for me to be able to do that. Makes me sad. Let's see, but yeah, Wander, how do you have so many items? I am cheating. I am cheating flagrantly. This is a demo. I'm going to make it do things that it shouldn't do. Plus, this is a good practice for the uh, for when the final thing comes out, and I can I can kind of get some of the uh, the basic builds out of the way, so I can focus on some of the more exciting ones. Uh, let's see. I think we're good. 
Off we go. Whee! That's still not fast enough, though. But yeah, if you want to know how to cheat in money like this, it's Cheat Engine. All you have to do is just search for how much money you have, uh, buy something, search again, and more or less you'll find uh, whatever memory address it is for... Um, uh, whatever memory address it is for, like, your money value. So you can just buy everything if you wanted to. Um, we're gonna have to do a round where I, I get a bunch of jet engines. Long gun, put all jet engines. Sure. Alright, uh, let's see. Toggle remove mode. Toggle attach mode. Wait. Okay, I know, I know how to do this. Okay, uh, let's see. Flamethrower, flamethrower, flamethrower. Uh, let's see, caps. Jet engine modules. What do we want to call this one? What's a good, uh, what's a good name for a rocket? What's the, uh, oh shoot. Is it the Falcon? What's the what's the current uh, Elon Musk rocket? I don't I don't remember. <laughs> Unfortunately, I don't keep up with those things. <laughs> the Trash Panda Special. All right, we've got the Trash Panda Special. Let's go. I was considering the Falcon X, but now that you guys are uh, bringing up Rocket the Raccoon. Uh, I think I'm going to have to defer to your knowledge and expertise. Um... Oh, I can fly with this. Good shit. <laughs> I think I would. It's very hard for me to tell. Oh, no. I haven't won yet. I think I got it. It's, I mean, it is truly, truly impossible to tell what's going on. <laughs> Woo, boy. This, I do not regret my decision to play a couple more runs worth of this thing. <laughs> Woo boy! Whoop. Whoop. Yep. I am um I'm really <laughs> really happy with that one. I think I'm gonna I think I'm going to shelve the uh shelve the idea though until we have melee weapons. When we have melee weapons, I can't wait to fly by drilling. Oh man. I really wish I could actually save gun designs for reuse. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's see. So, let's craft this. Let's remove these. Um, what do we want to do next? I've done flamethrowers. They have become uninteresting. How about this? Remove... Attach mode. Heavy blaster. Really? That's a collision? Connectors. Uh, let's see. Do I have any more, uh... Do I have any more of these? I should. Those are flamethrowers. There's the other heavy, heavy blaster. Okay. So we want... We don't want ricochet. We want fire rate. Fire rate. Fire rate. Fire rate. We don't want fire mines. I wouldn't mind bounce. 
Uh, let's see, but I got, I got some extra connectors that I can jam on in here. Let's remove this for a second. Attach. There we go. Let's see. Bounce. Bounce. Uh, let's see. Another energy generator. And more bounce. Okay, finish crafting. Done. It's pretty expensive, but this thing probably hurts. Unfortunately, it's not going to have the energy generation that the other ones do because it's uh, on a per projectile basis. Which is unfortunate, but that's okay. Was there a way to shoot backwards? Oh. Oh, we should try it. We should we should try the the hover buster. Unfortunately, the projectiles are mad slow. Makes this a little less exciting. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, this would be a good boss killer, but I don't think it's going to be very good for clearing levels. Honestly, grenade launchers are probably better if you're trying to go for railgun feel. Though, uh, the speed upgrade needs to be a, uh, have a bit of an uptick. Does do a lot of damage, though. I don't know. This might actually be just as just as viable as grenades. The projectiles are just so slow. But yeah, chain guns do more damage. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Well, now I'm kind of sad. So I know people have been talking about this. I should probably, um, I should probably mention this. Let's let's build a backwards gun. Oh, let's see, toggle remove mode. Let's get rid of that. Get rid of that. Um, let's see, get rid of these. Hatch mode. I could make this thing longer. Yes, actually. Let's let's make this a bit longer. Toggle attach mode. Connectors. Oh. Did I not buy? Ah, I didn't buy anything. I just immediately went to this. But yeah, so a lot of people have been, um... Um, a lot of people have been posting this to, to chat. You know, have you heard about Total Biscuit? Um, I hate to be the, I guess, bearer of bad news. I was kind of hoping to do a couple of runs before I actually let my, myself get sad about this. But Total Biscuit has, I believe, passed away? I could be wrong about this. Uh, obviously, by the time this episode goes up, yeah, 20 minutes before the stream. Um, I, I don't know. I don't like to talk about mortality or, like, heavy topics on this, but that that gets me down. Total Biscuit was one of the first YouTubers ever I ever followed, ever felt the reason, a reason to follow. Um, and so... I guess for me this is kind of super sad because he was, the, I believe he was the one that actually um, told me about Tower of Guns. It was, I think it was him. Yeah, yeah, I saw his WTF is. I think that actually was the first. I was starting my YouTube channel and I was like, okay, uh, well I can pre-order like Tower of Guns or something like that. Um, but, you know, I should take a look at it. And I think he had done, like, something on it. I don't even know if it was his WTF is, but he had talked about it. And I was, um, I checked it out and I thought, okay, yeah, this looks, this looks fun. And I'm not going to say, like, I owe him, like, a super debt of gratitude. Uh, mainly because we've never met. But it's definitely sad uh, to be kind of put into this position. I don't know how to, I guess, put it apart from that. But it's... It's a little rough. I don't know. I'm gonna try and focus on things. I've been doing a good job. This game, this game makes me happy in so many ways. Move this here. And so it's easy to not think too hard about, you know, Mortality, I guess. See, so no more co-optional broadcast. Actually, as far as I've heard, um... <laughs> uh, 
Um, as far as I've heard, uh, everybody else is going to, um, uh, kind of take up the mantle. Like, I think Co-Optional is still gonna go on, it's just not going to be with him as a big gun. I am airborne. Screw you, barricade! I don't care about you! Oh, okay. Wow, the amount of kickback is absurd. I'm gonna have to take the engines off. Or put them on. I don't want to. I, I don't know. I don't know what I'm gonna do. We'll see. This works out pretty well, though. So we've got two more. But yeah, Jenna, Jesse, or Dodger will probably take up the mantle. Or, uh, Krendor. Krendor would be kind of viable, too. I don't know. I don't know. I don't want to think about it. It's bleak. He was as... <sighs> okay, so... I guess, uh, this is kind of a weird topic. Maybe weird? I don't know. It's weird for me. Um, but... I more or less, there's three YouTubers. Three? Four. Four YouTubers that kind of got me into the business. Total Biscuit ish. Uh, just because I think he was the one that kind of got me to start doing indie games. Northern Lion got me to do roguelikes. Gassy Mexican multiplayer, and he was actually the original impetus because he was talking about uh, doing YouTube and stuff full time, and that was something I had never considered before. Um, let's see. I wonder what happens if I have a gun pointed at another gun. I don't think I'm going to be able to... Wait. I can put a pulse box there. I'm just going to put a pulse box there, because why not? Okay. Um, but, so, one of my goals on YouTube, and it was like a super small goal, uh, but it was always to actually meet some of these people that kind of inspired me to, uh, to get into this industry. And, well, one down, three to go. That's really bleak. Might actually... You know what? Let's go back into this. I'm gonna put an engine on this thing. We probably don't need as many energy generators. Um, I think I only need two of them. Because it's a 40% chance per shot to, uh, to generate an energy token. Which is a little bit much. Okay, let's let's see if that will um Oh. Oh. Okay. Well, this is going to work even better, sort of. So the en engine seems to actually work based off of a fire rate thing. The slower your gun is, the less kick it's going to give you. Well, good luck telling what the hell's going on. Cuz I'm effectively just a battering ram of gun. <laughs> Whee! Guess I should probably get down here and stuff. Oh, got slowed on something. I hope you guys weren't hoping to actually watch this. I, I certainly can't myself. Right in the lava. Oh no! Came out of that with an okay amount of HP. Wow. This is stupid. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna just take off the speed thing and we'll just add more more stuff. I don't know, we'll see. But yeah, I'm not saying that Total Biscuit was like any kind of paragon of gaming. He, uh, he definitely lit some fires that he never should have. But it's super sad to see a dude that's like... I think he was only like four or five years older than me. 33, yeah, so five years older than me. Um... Having him, uh, I guess, pass away is kind of weird and super worrying. Uh, what? Be more reverent? I, I mean, it is weird. How many, how many people do you know that have, I guess, passed away in their prime? I don't. I have a couple of people that I know that have passed away in my, their prime, and it's, it's hard to talk about. You can't just say like, yeah. Dude was a dick. I mean, he could. Okay. Put another... Can I put a connector here? Okay, so I can actually fit some line blasters in. 
Can I put in a chain gun, though? No, chain gun is too big. That's unfortunate. Well, we could put some line blasters, though. They're not chain guns, but I'll, I'll deal. Okay, so I guess I'll have to put the uh, pulse box in. Okay, and we want to just do caps. More fire rate. I don't actually know what my fire rate is. But that's, that's fine. Okay. I can't walk forward when I fire this thing, by the way. It is actually too fast. <sighs> so I guess the life lesson apart from uh, everything else is get checked. I don't know. That was, that was one of the things that he was kind of a proponent of. Oh, that thing was more or less invulnerable. Um, wow, the amount of energy that just spews out of everything if I get up close and shoot. It is a ridiculous amount. Okay. But he was, he was definitely kind of trying to be a proponent of getting yourself checked for things. Because I, I think he said, like, specifically if he had checked sooner, he would have um, had a much better fighting chance. And, like, it's super sad to see, the, like, the hopelessness of that kind of situation. I don't know. I'm just... I don't know what to say. I don't do eulogies. I don't do sad. That is ridiculous. Damage taken. I took damage? I guess I did. Oh no, that's probably that's probably total score. Yeah, that's total score across all of these. Let's see. Uh, what about making the bullet shoot the opposite direction you're aiming? As in, pointing towards you. You can't actually do that, unfortunately. Uh, which kind of sucks. Uh, they said for insurance reasons, you can't point the gun at you. Which is probably just to make it so you can't uh, spray and pray as you run away. Which actually makes a perfect amount of sense. Alright, well, let's get out of here. Anyway. I'm gonna... I'm gonna not talk about super sad things anymore. It's not... It's not my thing, and I, I feel like it kind of messes with my commentary. But it kind of needed to be said at some point, and I figured this was fitting, considering... I mean... He really did get- he really did sort of kickstart my channel. It was super indirectly.